delay pedals before or after the modulation pedals. There are some many discussions out there about what is right and what is wrong. In this video, I will share with you some tricks. Hello folks, Marcos here. Timestamps for this video are available in the description box along with links, signal chain and some cool stuff. So don't forget to check this out. Here is the most conventional way to place the delay pedal, after the modulation, before the reverb. Ed Van Halen used to do like this, and in his case, the delay time is fast with a single repetition, make the signal wider before reaching the reverb. Here I am not trying to replicate Van Halen's tone, but the way he used to order his pedals in the first album. Also, I will not play exact covers because of no reasons. Just to start breaking the most common way to place delays among the pedals, here is how Mike from Incubus likes better, before the modulation pedals, which in this case it's gonna be the phase 90. As the delay is long, the repetition will be a little different reaching the sweeping of the effect in different points, that kind of bong 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 Check this out. In the song Run Like Hell by Pink Floyd, David Gilmour had the delay effect not before, not after, but in between the flanger and the uni vibe, creating a unique tone. This kind of tone requires some kind of attention to the tempo because the number of repetitions, otherwise your part will get messy. <laughs> Thank you. 
For more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. But for now, that's all. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive and kicking. See you 